in the world of fragrance, making you smell delicious and offending you at the same time may be considered especially heinous. In New York City, a gorgeous Cubano and his elite squad of ball sprayers will seek out these colognes and investigate them. This is his story. Bitch. <laughs> Can we just take a second to appreciate barbershop fragrances? I discovered, take that with a grain of salt, because I don't look up anybody's shit really, a fragrance by the house of MFK that has easily become in the maybe two weeks that I've had this fragrance, maybe my top three, top five best barbershop fragrance that I've smelled to this day. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can talk about this shit, because I don't know why motherfuckers ain't on this who like barbershop fragrances. Bless the morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. If you like barbershop fragrance and you don't have this fragrance on deck, you just don't know about it because it's on point. It's literally what a barbershop fragrance should smell like. The lavender in here is so crisp and so smooth. That's the perfect word for this fragrance, an overall rounded, smooth fragrance with performance behind it. The fragrance that I'm talking about is none other than by the house of Macy's Francis Kirk John, Masculine Puriel, Puriel, Pluriel, Pluriel. What the fuck does that mean? I have not a fucking clue. I bagged this up off of Max Aroma when they were having that MFK discount and if you slept on it, pff, you slept on it. Y'all motherfuckers should follow them on social media or whatever because they were doing like 20 or 25% off all MFKs, including like BR540. Just saying, this joint is damn near a perfect barbershop fragrance. One of my favorites is Mason Martin Margiela's At The Barbers. That's even sharper than this. This is just so well-rounded. For me, the lavender in here is so kind of photorealistic that it's awesome, man. It performs so nicely on my skin. It's got like the perfect amount of vetiver and it's got a little bit of a, a Heidi type leather base, but it's none of it is aggressive. None of it is very sharp. None of it is tingy. It's not dry. It's just really, really well blended. It's it's crazy that I haven't heard more people talk about this again This has got to be for the lavender beasts or the barbershop fougere motherfuckers that dig this shit hard body Because that's all this is a dope barbershop fragrance. This is really really Spectacular for barbershop fragrances. I'm gonna call this a super underrated barbershop fragrance. It's just nasty boy This shit is just a beast. There's two signs that a fragrance is either well blended or weak as fuck when you can just go up here There's no twinge in your nose or you don't kind of do that. It's crisp. It's bright You you feel the vetiver, but it's not overly citrusy the lavender is just so prominent and just so buttery smooth photorealistic, sexy for a barbershop fragrance. It has all the characteristics that you want from an MFK fragrance without it being like a mass appealing beast. This is definitely for that niche audience who likes that barbershop swag. I feel like getting a fresh shape up because I fucking need it and a haircut because my hair is looking fucked up. I've taken barbershop fragrances to my barber and be honest with you, out of the five dudes in the barbershop at that time, only one understood the whole barbershop fragrance concept, which is kind of weird. I get it, but they didn't get it and they're in this shit all day. So hmm, barbershop fragrance, I'm going to start using that term really loosely because these motherfucking barbers didn't know shit about it. They were like, I don't get it. I'm like, really? That's really all I can say about this fragrance. It's really, really not complicated. If you smell the barbershop fragrance, then you know the, the scent profile, but this one is up there i'm gonna put it in top three so far that i've smelled there could be others that are fucking phenomenal amazing through the roof and i haven't smelled them yet great possibility right now this one is definitely in my top three masculine pluriel is definitely a ball sprayer because i do like my barbershop fragrances and well excuse me why i tag my nads nice little pillowy cloud all over my ball bag lavender vetiver leather woods old school barbershop sexy clean crisp that's all i'm gonna say about this shit let's not drag this shit out more than it has to be sexy ass barbershop fragrance period i love y'all motherfuckers from the heart have y'all tried this shit clearly you haven't because nobody's fucking talking about this shit and i'll see y'all bitches next time you know who it is it's the biggest in the fucking game bringing you exclusive upon exclusives God damn i should be paid for all this shit smooches Oh, yeah.
crush who is best. One of them's gonna pass the test. Who I Fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag. When it's time to call back for the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib, it's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would.